गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्लास फॉर क्लास नाइन इट इज कंप्यूटर क्लास सो क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज कंसंट्रेट ऑन इट दिस इज क्लास नाइन कंप्यूटर वीडियो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट सी ओ एन टी आई एन यू ई Don't don't think it is a capital. It will be small. B R E K break and continue. Both two statement are there in Java about this two uh, statement. We are going to learn. So first, I am going to an example. Suppose this example. That class name is example. Already you know how to make loop. So. Class example and here if you write public static void main and inside bracket nothing and run one loop suppose using for int i equal to i equal to zero i less than equal to ten and i double plus If you write like this, and if you print here system dot system dot out dot print ln something anything you can print here. Suppose I'm printing here i, and if you close this loop, and if you run it, you can see the, it will print one to ten. One to ten output is coming in the screen. You can see. So same. Process we can run any loop, but if you give that break statement inside loop, already you know that break statement function in switch case. Same thing if you give break statement inside loop, B R E K break. After this printing, so first time it will print, but after then break means it will terminate this loop. So you can compile it, and if you run it, you can see. Um, It is printing only zero because this loop is starting from zero, so it is printing zero, and after that it is breaking. Means next time it is not going. You can say, sir, if I give one condition here, if i double equals to five, then only break it. Means up to four there will be no problem. Up to five also no problem because five also it will print. I value zero, one, two, three, four, five. It will print. But when I value will be five, it will print five, and after then it will break this loop. So you can compile it, and if you run it, you can see zero, one, two, three, four, five. So depending on your condition also, you can apply this keyword. So when you need this statement that break, suppose inside the loop you are doing something, and you want to break this loop that a specific condition, then you can use this statement using condition. Now another statement is there continue. So that is summary of the break. If I tell that it terminate loop, any loop, for while or do while, any loop. Already you know for and while, do while you have no concept. So for and while loop easily it can terminate. Now if I tell you what is the function of continue, instead of break, if I write here continue, you can see there will be no difference. Actually, continue not terminate a loop. It you can see first that what is output here. You can see all it is coming normal. So you can say what is the function of continue? Actually, continue function exact the last bracket of the loop. It means when it will get continue after this continue which statement are there it will not read. It means this condition if I give before printing Before printing, if I write this continue, then what will happen when I value zero, one, two, three, four? It will print zero, one, two, three, four because it will not enter inside the if. But when I value will be five, that time it will continue. Continue means after then, after executing this continue statement, it will not go next. It will go directly to iteration. So continue when control will get continue statement directly from there. It will go to iteration. It is loop iteration already. You know. Means the next part of the loop body, it will not execute for that time only. Again, I value will be six. That time this condition will be false. That time again it will print six. 
So, if I run this loop, you can see it will print 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, means 5 will skip. So, if I compile it and if I run it, you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 5 skipped in this output. So, continue work. If you tell that sir, do not give inside the condition, always you execute continue. So, nothing will print. This loop will not run, of course, it will run. This loop will always run, no problem. In this loop, there is no problem. You see, control is telling you unreachable statement because you are giving continue and after then you are printing. So, always control will come to continue and it will go to iteration. So, it will not execute. So, you can't compile it. Control telling it is invalid program. Why you are writing? Because continue you are giving after then any statement will not execute and it is free. There is no condition means always it will execute. When loop will print this before that only it will execute. So, always control will go from here to condition uh, iteration. So, compiler is not allowing you. So, the previous one it was correct. The previous one I can give here that uh, condition if I give here condition like this. So, there is no problem. You can give here multiple condition that no I not want to skip only 5. I want to skip also uh, 6, 8, 9. So, how to do it or you give condition or i double equals to 6 or i double equals to i double equals to 8 or i double equals to 9 like this you can give multiple condition using or or and it is your choice. So, if it is 5 then also it is true 6 then also true 7 8 also true 9 also true. So, this number when I 5 6 8 9 I value will be there it will execute continue means it will not print it will not reach here directly it will go to iteration. So, you see compile it. So, it will uh, skip that number which one I have given. So, 0 1 2 3 4 you see 5 is not there 6 is not there 7 is there 8 9 is not there again 10 is there because that 4 number will be not there because I skip that 4 number 5 6 8 and 9. This is the function of continue that it skip that part of the uh, loop body where it execute. This two function is very important in a loop that break and continue. So, if you have any doubt, you can call me. Means you can ask me by WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is 7001385807. Thank you for seeing this video.